Okay, so one of the key features within the Proofpoint Essentials uh, solution is our business continuity feature called the emergency inbox. If the mail server were to become offline for an unknown reason or for a scheduled maintenance, users have the ability to send and receive mail while that server is offline. Just a quick note, the emergency inbox is not a OWA replacement, nor do we store email within the emergency inbox at any point in time. The emergency inbox will become automatically available if the mail server were to fail, and those email messages will appear in this uh, center portion of your screen again while the server is offline. In addition to that, users have the ability to create messages, uh, again, while the server is offline. Effectively, the outside world won't know that there's an issue going on with, with inside the organization's environment. When the server recovers, the emergency inbox will clear all email out and synchronize traffic back to the organization's email server. Okay, all right, so going back more into an administrative uh, view, we're going to take a look at the email logs. As a, uh, an administrator, I have the ability to look up specific individual logs by clicking on the Users tab, which is the view we're looking at today. Uh, if there were any groups established, uh, we have the ability to search uh, email via groups. Or if you click the License tab, you can then search all company email. Uh, and the way in which that works is you have the ability to search for either inbound or outbound mail. You can search for mail up to 30 days. And rather than just quarantine searching, you can look for any type of mail, whether it's blocked, cleared, queued, bounced, etc. Again, you'll have the ability to search for all email traffic uh, for up to uh, 30 days. We'll leave this search at two weeks. And then as you can see, you can get a little bit more granular and advance your uh, search options. Okay, so the resulting data set will be inbound mail over the past week with any type of status. And again, this is an administrator searching all company email. And within that view, you'll have the from and to, the subject, the uh, date and time, uh, the category, the size, and the status of that particular message. Primarily, using the logs is searched for quarantine searching or uh, used for troubleshooting any uh, emails that may have been uh, rejected or bounced, or if you want to glean further information from, again, messages that are in the quarantine. We'll choose a uh, quarantine message to take a look at the email detail. And within the email detail, there's uh, quite a bit of information. The first is a permalink that will allow a user to send uh, the administrator, the permalink, in the event they both need to take a look at this message in detail, they'll have the ability to do so. You'll also see real header and envelope information. You'll see the scan information and the spam summary and score associated with that. You'll also see the classification and delivery status. Uh, for example, if this message was uh, bounced or rejected, you would see the reason why. And then lastly, you would see where the email came from, whether it's the IP address uh, or the country itself. In the email log uh, section, a user or an administrator has the ability to call into action a number of different features. For example, the instant replay feature will allow a user to send mail back to themselves for up to 30 days. For example, if I lost an email uh, from uh, this particular individual and this particular individual, I would tick those boxes. And to have those resent, I would just click resent to my inbox. As an administrator, uh, this would be handy if a uh, backup restore went south and uh, a bunch of email was lost. I have the ability, for example, to uh, pull all email over the past couple of days execute the search, and then choose all the mail and have that, those messages uh, resent back to the entire organization. Effectively, this is going to eliminate the need to do any unnecessary backup restores. Again, the instant replay feature uh, is valid on the uh, business or professional package, and you can replay mail back to uh, 30 days. 
Within this uh, area, you can also reclassify mail. So if you were just searching for quarantine mail and you wanted to release it at the individual level or as an administrator, you can do that for individuals, groups, or the entire organization. Or if mail uh, slipped through that you deem uh, spam, you can classify that uh, mail as spam. So you've got a number of different options to execute in the email logs portion of the uh, Proofpoint Essentials user interface. What I'd like to do now is show you the email archive. 